Good afternoon. Um, our project consists of Boston Gear Catalog, Gear Selection, uh, Prejudices, and Example. Uh, we are group uh, 24. Uh, let me present my group uh, Mr. Aaron Russell, uh, Mr. Angel Nunes, and myself, Alfonso Parra. Uh, and, and this particular project, we included a general application for, ge for gears, short history. Uh, details for uh, sport gears, example for selection process for sport gears, um, details of mirror and bevel gears, details for worms and work gears, and conclusion. The general application for gears, um, gears can be uh, found in any application in our modern society. For example, uh, automobile applications, avi uh, uh, aviation applications, Time keep, uh, keeping application like watches and, and clothes, etc., medical applications and manufacturing applications. The history of Boston Gear the, uh, is considered to the major supplier power on transmission products to the uh, different business and markets around the world. Boston Gear, along with the Warner Electric and Ford Sprague close for ultra industrial motion. This company has been operation for over a century. And here, um, in this particular company is a pioneer many developments in the power transmission industry. Boston Gear produce different, different products uh, like uh, electrical products, uh, device for the the power, gears, bearings, and etc. These are just some of the gears that are manufactured by Boston Gear Company. Uh, we have spur gears, helical gears, miter and bubble gears, worms and worm gears. Now, going to spur gears. Um, spur gears are mainly used for applications that involve parallel shafts. They are reliable, corrosion resistant, and they require running when they are made from materials such as brass, cast iron, and stainless steel. This is an example of selecting spur gears. Um, in order to select the gears, uh, certain variables have to be known. Uh, in this example, we've just chosen uh, some variables, mostly at random. Uh, so we're assuming that our spur gear needs a 14 and a half degree pressure angle. The shafts that it will be used on are parallel. The gear ratios are three to one, the gear, the ratio of the pinion gear to the turbine gear. Uh, the RPM of the gears is 1800. The required horsepower is one, center distance two inches, material is steel, and these gears will be without a keyway and a set screw. Uh, so for the procedure, first you find the diametral pitch and the face dimension, which are determined by the charts on page 51 of the catalog. And you find this based on 1800 RPM and one horsepower. And uh, for this example, uh, we found that it was evident that a 20 diametral pitch, uh, three inch face gear was required. Then you find the pitch diameter uh, of the gear of the pinion and the gear by this equation. It's two times the center distance divided by the gear ratio plus one. In this example, uh, we find that the pitch diameter of the pinion is one inch. And to find the pitch diameter, you multiply the pitch diameter of the gear, you multiply the pitch diameter of the pinion by the gear ratio. And since we know our gear ratio is three to one, you multiply this one inch by three, so you get three inches. Then after that, you look at the chart on page 20. Um, for a 20 transverse diametral pitch and one inch pitch diameter, it's evident that you have a that you would need a 20 tooth bore pinion, and that's catalog number NA20B, item code 09678. And for on the same chart, to find the gear, uh, you, you see that you need a 60 tooth, three inch pitch diameter gear. And we find that the appropriate gear is catalog number NA60A, item code 10212. Hello, my name is Daniel Nunez. Um, now we're going to be presenting helical gears, which are um, another kind of very common um, gears 
Um, the header configures are coming both right hand and um, left hand configurations and are used to uh, shafts that are um, in, that do not intersect each other and are either in parallel or 90 degrees from each other. Uh, the program manages to spur gears, which are which are some which include um, improved tooth strength, better contraction, and our ability to carry loads, and they operate more smoothly. Um, like my partner before me um, showed, this is an, a, a, uh, an example of selecting gears. The parameters again are, are chosen random and they're actually the same as the spur gears. Um, the shots are parallel, the gear ratio is 3 to 1, the RPM is 1800, horsepower is 1, the standard distance um, is 2 inches, the material is hardened steel, and the pinion is right handed and the gear is left handed. For, for the procedure of selecting the gear, um, first the diagonal pitch and the face I mentioned is determined from the charts on page 67 of the catalog based on 1800 RPMs and 1 horsepower. It is evident that a 20 um, diameter pitch, 28.28 um, .28 normal diameter pitch and 0.375 to 0.563 face gear is required. Um, the first pitch diameter of the pinion and the, uh, and the gear selection um, is found by by the simple equation. Um, pitch diameter pinion um, is equal to the two times the standard distance divided by the gear ratio plus one. Since the gear ratio is three to one, um, that gives us four divided by four, which is a one inch pitch diameter. Um, the pitch diameter of the gear is equal to the pitch diameter of the pinion times the gear ratio, which gives us the pitch diameter of the gear to be 3 inches. Then looking at the chart on page 64, for 20 transfer diameter pitch and a 1 inch um, pitch diameter, it is evident that a 20 tooth and half inch four pinion, catalog um, number H2020R, item code number 18244 is needed. Finally looking on the same chart for a 62 3 inch pitch diameter gear, we find the appropriate gear selection uh, for the pinion is catalog number H2060L, the uh, item code 18266. Uh, now we go into a brief description of uh, meter and bevel gears. The meter and bevel gears are, are intended to use when transfer of power uh, and motion between shafts that are in um, at a right angle and are intersecting each other. The meter gears are to be used only when there is one to one ratio and the bevel gears are, can be used either to, uh, from one to five to one ratio or six to one ratio. Um, they can be made from steel, nylon, iron or brass. Now warm, um, we're going to warm and warm gears. Worms and warm gears are mostly used for applications where there's not a lot of space, um, where speed needs to be reduced, and for 90 degree angles um, um, between shafts that do not intersect. Um, the most efficient warm and um, gears are the ones that are low ratio of lead angle to number gears. For the conclusion, <coughs> the Boston Gear Company supplies a wide variety of gears. The selection of this procedure outlined in, in this report are standard for most gear catalogs and proper care must be taken by the engineer to select the proper gears for a need application. There can be no doubt that the Boston Gear um, Company and Ultra Industrial Motions are the forefront of gear and power transmission technology and can be expected to continually present industrial innovations for many years to come. <coughs>